Hello everybody, and welcome back to Protocol Media. I am Exlogus Killer, and today I have been playing Killer Instinct. Killer Instinct is uh, not a story-based game, it's an online fighting game, a bit like the best thing to compare it to is like Mortal Kombat. Or any other fighting game that has a two uh, health bar stage system. Um, I don't really know what to relate to uh, the characters, I don't really know. It just seems like a bunch of random characters to me, and maybe they've got some relations. The only character I recognised there was the Arbiter. Um, so I'm not sure if it actually has any theme behind its characters, or if it's just picks like champion characters from franchises. Um, either way, it seemed very fun to play. I promised to play the game because I effectively um, I bought a friend, Dragon Ball Fighters, um, and in return he said, "Well, I want you to um, new like fighting games, so I play Killer Instinct." I thought, "Okay, I bought you Dragon Ball Fighters. So you'd play Dragon Ball Fighters. Uh, it's only fair that I download Killer Instinct. You'd play it." And I played it, and it's much more fun than I expected. I've only played three fighting games, and that's been Dragon Ball Fighters, uh, Killer Instinct, um, and Mortal Kombat X. And out of three, uh, if this is like second second place. Dragon Ball Fighters definitely been number one. Mortal Kombat is just too stiff for me. Um, but yeah, from the time frame I played the game, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I. Fucking one hundred! I one hundred percent enjoyed this game. I found it very fun. Uh, mechanics are good. It's not. It's slower paced than what I'm used to on Dragon Ball Fighters, but it is not too slow paced, and to the point where it feels really stiff. Things definitely do flow. Um, control. The other thing I didn't like about the game is uh, control. Um, picking up, pick up the game for the first time. Uh, I didn't really do a tutorial, because like, I guess my own undoing. Um, but from picking it up, it doesn't teach you really much. You kind of have to make it up as you go along. But I guess, like I said, it's kind of my fault. I didn't really do a tutorial. I kind of went, you know what, I'm going in there, going in there blind, and see how well I do against AIs. I, 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 don't, I don't know if the AIs are on the highest difficulty, the lowest difficulty. I don't know. I just love the, the default difficulty is for AIs in this game. Um, it can be a bit tricky, some of the buttons, or some of, I don't know, it kept popping up a thing saying W or L, and I didn't quite exactly know what that meant, obviously it's something to teach you in a tutorial, but like I said, I didn't really try tutorials, so, but I found the gameplay to be quite fairly easy, um, but also tricky at the same time, if that makes any sense. Didn't really have a storyline, at least not from the main menu, didn't see anything to do a storyline, and before I tried playing it offline, with no connection to my console. Um, it said it's a game that requires online, so it's, it's a full on online game only, no online. I would 100% keep playing this game. Uh, the main needs to not play competitively like I do with Dragon Ball Fighters, but I'd probably just play it in my free time with friends, because it's a genuinely enjoyable game, and I enjoy playing as the Arbiter in a 2 fighting game like thing you know it's different but also enjoyable entertaining but if I, think, I, I, well, I already do play games similar to this so um, I play Dragon Ball Fighters a lot um, I would recommend this game to anybody um, simply because if you like enjoy playing that simple if you like playing a game that's a bit more fast paced and more combat but not as stiff and slow paced and this is definitely a game that I would recommend. In this game there is like normal PvP and then there's normal AIS but then there's also like a survival, what I played um, I played survival, it's basically you just keep endlessly fighting a uh, game champion after game champion with it progressively getting harder and harder which <laughs> <coughs> Corona. Um, back to what I was saying. Um, fuck, I've lost my train of thought now. Uh, re replay, that's it, replay value. 
this game is a fighting game. All fighting games have replay value. Unless they're like the ultimate trash. Like, you'd have to be shit on fire for it to have replay value in a fighting game. Um, but this, yeah, definitely has um, replay value 100%. Overall, I enjoyed playing this game, and like I said multiple times, I would 100% recommend. It was fun. Favorite character being the Arbiter, he has many tricks I loved, like throwing grenades, uh, having long range attacks with a carbine, and his main weapon is being the energy sword, just slicing and dicing of people. It was enjoyable. Um, but yes, thank you for watching. Have a nice day, please like and subscribe and go to the description below and check out our Discord. Peace.